38 strong fleet lined up for racing at the 2011 Six Census Phuket Race Week. And after an early postponement, winds reached 16 knots and Asia's best regatta was underway. The classic class set out on an around the islands course, while IRC racing was sent on a Winwood Leewood 1.2 nautical miles to the top mark. Neil Pride on a chartered TP52 for this regatta, passed Jing Jing, who gained an early lead, and the Kiwi skipper never looked back. When the breeze came in in the afternoon, actually we had two very good races. It was really good conditions. Good day actually today. We started off, um, we were charging, we got a second in the first race, so we were pretty happy with that. IRC2 and IRC3 were sent off together and were highly competitive on the water. In IRC2, Ruby Tuesday was OCS. Team CB sailed well to take line honours. Also performing well were WDB Endeavour of Whitby and 1976 Sydney to Hobart winner Piccolo, skippered by Mark Chapman. In the one design Firefly class, the racing was close as always, with places changing throughout the day. Voodoo took the wins in race one and race two. In multi-hole racing, hot favourite Miss Saigon led the fleet across the start in race one and was closely tacked around the course. Despite taking line honours, she lost out on corrected time to Da Vinci, with Shanghai Baby in third. In race two, Da Vinci continued her winning ways with the handicap win, Sidewinder second and Miss Saigon third. On day two, there was good wind and good sailing. A rainstorm swept through the anchorage in the morning, leaving behind good consistent winds for which Asia's best regatta has become famous. IRC3 and Classics completed a single round the island race while the others completed a short windward leeward course followed by a longer second race. In IRC Racing, Team Premier were looking to continue her winning ways from day one and stretched their series lead with two more wins today, followed by Katsu with two second places and Kuku Kachu with two third places. The win came in pretty Quickly this morning, we had we saw up to about 18 knots uh, at the at the first start, which was great. Uh, pretty tight racing all, all right across the board, which has uh, been interesting, you know. So that's great for everybody. Very tight after yesterday's results, just a few seconds in it across pretty much the whole fleet. So that's what it's all about, you know. We've had we've had some good fun. Six sets as Nina skippered by Grenville Fordham, and with round the world yachtswoman Dee Kafari on board, turned in an impressive third. Oh, brilliant. Second day, so I know my way around the boat because I'm on a catamaran, not something I'm used to. And uh, we've got a good team together and there's a bit more breeze, so it's a bit more to our style. But there were some light patches this afternoon. But slightly different with the racing, Windward Lewis changed to a trip around the island, so I had a bit of sightseeing as well, so it was really cool. As always, the onshore activities are a big part of Six Senses Phuket Race Week. A party of pizza and pasta at Da Vinci is always a highlight during the regatta. Racing continues tomorrow.